Okay, this is probably a horrible idea because I don't have a voice and I want to show off these new tools. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm Mike Dimas and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Okay, so I bought a microphone so that I could actually do a voiceover for this video. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the 0 .093. This is a Waldem tool, and it is supposed to be spring-loaded. Mine, for some reason, is not spring-loaded. I don't even remember where I got that tool, but this is basically the go-to tool to remove these 0 .093 terminals from a connector. So I'm going to go over all these different tools. I just bought some new ones, and I'm going to show a little bit of everything here. So I'm starting off with the female I'm going to say 0.93, and I'm going to stop saying 0 0.093 and save myself two syllables. So I've always had trouble with these connectors, even with this proper, I guess, Waldem makes the Molex tool. So this, I'm going to call it a Molex tool. Uh, I forget the, uh, the part number, but uh, maybe I'll include it at some point in the video. Anyway... Looks like I'm moved on to the uh, male terminals here. And look at that, with the help of some needle nose pliers, I was able to actually remove one successfully. Now I've, from time to time, tried to remove terminals. Mostly I fail. I bought this stupid Amazon thing that has the 0 .062 on one end and the 0 .093 on the other problem is the 0 0.062 female side does not even fit over the female terminals so it is completely useless uh, looks like I'm gonna try a male or is this the 0 0.093 either way one of the ends of this tool won't even fit over the female terminals so look at that male success Successful removal. I think that was the point zero nine three, and looks like I'm gonna try some more mail. Look at that, that was successful. So you know this Amazon tool will work okay for the point nine three, but for the point six two is garbage. Uh, so this is the new tool that I got. This was a set on Amazon, and it was like sixty bucks or something for the pair. I've got the 0.62 in hand and the 0.93 right here. And I like the little thumb push pressure, whatever you know, we call it, to help assist the removal of the terminal. So it looks like I'm going to try a 0.93. Am I going male or am I going female? I'm going to start with male terminals here. So first time ever using this tool. And uh, like I said, I like the concept of having the little like push assist, which is basically, I guess, would be the equivalent to the spring-loaded action of the uh, Molex tool. But, uh, oh, see that? Fired right out of there. I didn't need no needle nose pliers. Look at that. That is uh, quite successful there. I mean... I do recall that I didn't have success every time, but definitely more consistent success. There it is. It's like it's like a little uh, slingshot weapon here. So looks like I'm having fun with this. And do I get the last one? Boom. Look at that. So that's good stuff. Thumbs up for that. And now we're going to try the female terminals here. 0.93 females. I've tried to remove these before with uh, my other tools and I've failed. So this is the first time trying with this tool. And uh, I do recall not having a whole lot of success. It just seems like in general, I have more success removing the male terminals with any of my tools and minimal to no success removing any female terminals. 
So I'm going to try this again. And uh, I literally don't think I had any success with this particular connector. I may have on a different female terminal. Oh, hold on. My screen just went blank. Hello. Time to... Okay, there we go. What happened? My screen went blank on me. Okay, so a little small, smaller connector here. Female again. And, uh, oh yeah, so one trick is that you're supposed to kind of like push the wire towards the tool uh, just to give it a better chance of latching over top of the little tine. But I don't have no wires <coughs> protruding out of this connector, so uh, I think I think I kind of remember that halfway through this video for my other tests, so... Uh, you'll see me trying to do that potentially moving forward. Okay, so it looks like we're moving to the 0.62 size male terminals here. And uh, let's see to what degree of success I have here. I got to tell you, it's a little bit tricky um, to do this just out in the open. So having to do it inside of a pinball machine or under the hood or in a back box or something is going to be uh, even more tricky. I haven't tried it using... Oh, did that just pop out? Looks like it just popped out. So, more success here, so that's good. I was originally going to go and try and find the Molex version of the .62 tool spring-loaded action, but oh, there's another successful removal. But I made a post, and someone suggested that they... Ha oh, there's there's me finally discovering and remembering that you got to push the terminal towards the tool to have a greater success rate. But yeah, someone said they had these exact tools for a couple years and were happy with them, so I went ahead and gambled. It was Amazon, so I knew that I could return them if needed. Uh, I th figured here that seeing might have helped my cause as well, so I threw up my glasses there. So I think I am kind of like pushing the wire towards the tool. Again, this I believe is the point. Six two smaller terminal. Oh, and there it goes. Look at that. Success. Alright, so I'm going to move on to the female terminals again. I do have some wire to work with here and tug on and I don't recall if I had success with these guys or not. We'll find out shortly. I can tell you that I pinched, prod, and poked myself multiple times throughout uh, my video here. Look at that! Success! 0 0.62 female success with the new tool. I probably should uh, put the... Uh, the link to these tools in my description so that if you wanted to buy this set as well you could or at least give you the part number I think I did show it earlier in the video you could just kind of pause on the video if you wanted to as well but uh, it's probably easier to check the description so I just gotta remember to add that in there for you oh there's a fail thumbs down Okay, so we're going to go back to, is that point, uh, 0.93, the larger female? Yeah. So we failed with the Amazon tool, we failed with the Molex tool, and now trying again here with the new tool. And looks like I'm failing using my belly to kind of help. Oh, I did find eventually that... You know, putting the connector up against like the edge of the table or my little scroll saw table there or something just to give myself something to force it against helped. But again, if you're in the middle of a under the hood of a pinball machine, it may not be able to get that type of leverage. So uh, I've decided to try a different female connector. This is my meteor parts playfield, and look at that. 
that went smooth. So it's kind of hit and miss with the female for me. I mean, some other people did say you kind of got to like, there's me pushing the wire in. You have to kind of like sort of wiggle the tool around, swirl it around a bit. You just want to get over that tying. Oh, my, my screen went blank again. Sorry about that. I'm leaving my mouse uh, for too long without moving it around. So that first female pin came out pretty easily, and then I think I just struggle for the next minute without a whole lot of success here, I don't think. But the fact that I was able to even get one out means that it's possible. It's kind of like, there's me failing again. Thumbs down to that. I'm, I think up until this point, I don't know that I successfully removed a single female terminal from any connector. So this is uh, a step in the right direction for me. Not a 100% success rate here, obviously, but... Uh-oh, that looked like it hurt. And yes, it did. Uh, lost some skin on that one. So getting a little frustrated at this point, as you can tell. And yes, it did in fact draw blood. But, uh, you know, started off so well on that one connector. But it's all better now. We've got a, a band-aid going on there. Back to the thumbs up. All right, so... Oh, um, somehow I managed to get my spring-loaded action working on my Molex tool. I literally think I was using a hammer <laughs> with the connector and trying to really smash the terminal out and then realized that my spring-loaded action was just stiff from probably non-use for however long it's been around. I mean, I think I got this tool in a lot with some other stuff, so this could be decades old, but... So I don't know if there's like some sort of pin in the middle of the little tube there that helps push the terminal out, and that's why there's the spring-loaded action. Going back to try it. See, this is what I was talking about, getting a little, little leverage on uh, my scroll saw there. Back to the female, 0.93 terminals here. And uh, nope, no, uh, no luck with that. So going back to male terminals and uh, keep an eye out here because I think uh, this first one potentially this fires out like a rocket watch this do I recall that correctly eh? nope maybe not like it looks like it should just work so easily right but again I'm not really pushing the wire back towards the terminal at all. So maybe I'm gonna try and do that here. I'm gonna move my mouse so my screen doesn't go blank on me again. Okay, so Molex tool, no good. What happened, did it pop out? I don't even see that. New tool. I think I actually was able to successfully remove every single terminal on this connector because I spent like half an hour off camera after all this with all of the little connectors that I had and I fought with them and I probably injured myself some more and I had uh, varying degrees of success but I do think I was able to remove all of these guys, but certainly uh, not making it look easy here. Is it going to launch out? Here, this leverage, this may help. There it goes. See that? Having that extra little bit of leverage. How about this guy? Oh, uh, that's where I pinched myself. Hard to tell there, but that also hurt. Dangerous job. So there's, uh, after like half an hour of messing around with these connectors some more, you can see that uh, those guys there, 
mostly female, if not all, I couldn't remove, but I had success with a lot of the other um, connectors there. So there you go. That's my uh, review on these new tools. I like them. Probably better than the Molex tool and definitely better than that Amazon piece of crap. So for 60 bucks, I'd say I am a happy camper. If you have any tips or tricks on removing these terminals, please do share in the comments. I will be uh, happy to learn whatever I can and have a greater success rate with these things. But that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed the video.